Loads of room, mate. Woo, it's definitely snowing. So it's the morning and I've woken up um, after parking up in Glencoe last night. Nailed the view. Look at this. By the way, I've totally committed to my hat now. Like, I'm not taking it off for the rest of the trip. It's staying on there. So I'm gonna have a coffee now, and then there's some waterfalls over there, which I can hear, which I really wanna go and have a look at. And then there's something else on the map that way that I wanna go and have a look at. But I also wanna go for a hike. So I basically wanna do everything, especially because today looks like the, like the nicest weather. So I really need to just shut up talking now and get ready and get out there. Yes, Scotland! I tidied the van this morning. Um, it looks deceptively small on this video. It's kind of not. Um, so my bed is by there. We've actually got loads of room. Um, that side is my kit. Food is at the back. And I managed to put the, there's like a cupboard thing underneath there. I managed to put the mountain board in there, which is wicked because it gets it right out of my way. Lovely. Home from home. I could live in here, genuine. is some kind of like scene in Skyfall. I don't know it myself, but I saw it on Google Maps. So I thought I should come and have a look. And even if you don't know Skyfall, the view is flippin' amazing anyway. So who cares? Woo -hoo -hoo. Hello everyone. So just to explain, although I decided that I wasn't going to do too much hiking on this weekend because if you've seen my previous vlogs then you'll know that I messed up the ligaments in my ankle a couple of months back whilst I was sledging. Next thing you know... So this is me not listening to me and I'm actually heading up Buckle... Buckle... Et, buckle Etiv Biag... Buck... I can't say it. Buckle... Etive Bieg, I think, or something like that. Um, yeah, heading up there. Mid afternoon, weather crazy, doing it anyway. quickly it was proper blizzarding up there though so I didn't actually get quite to the top because I looked across and I could see like the blizzards going across top and this guy had actually gone up in front of me who I later started talking to um, and walked down with called John and he was really cool um, but I could see him like coming back down and I was like there's no way I'm gonna literally I'd forgot my ski goggles so if I'd got my ski goggles and like I could have like literally done that then I probably would have done it but this bare face like even right now I feel like my cheeks are literally unfair and my eyeballs have been exfoliated and that wasn't even going on the top so I think I made the right decision to turn around at that point. Just 
I love carnage. It's just fun. Yay to carnage, I suppose. Anyway, I'm talking crap, so I need to go down to Balahulish and probably get some more fuel and some more milk because it all leaked out before. So, yeah, amazing views. But I just spilled all my milk. I know that looks absolutely disgusting. <laughs> but the bloody milk bloody leaked. Da! And then find somewhere to sleep tonight. I don't really know what I want to do tomorrow, so I don't know where to be tonight. This is the thing. It'd be great if I had a plan, wouldn't it? But I don't, so... I like winging it. It's the best way. Morning, it's like half six. Um, excuse this, because I've literally just woke up and jumped out the van. Um, I arrived here last night in the dark again. Um, just picked a spot to pull over. Um, and I think I nailed the wake up view again. Look at this. I've just had a really good idea. When you're wild camping in Scotland, there's only one way to get clean. <laughs> Can't even get my phone out of the tripod. <laughs> ah, hands, come on then, wick. Yes. I would just like to thank Law Coffee for reviving me after this morning's shower, swim, whatever that was. That was actually really fun um, and I feel really good. Although my ankle is not fan dabby dozy um, this morning. It's looking a little bit puffy after yesterday's hike. So it's not a bother. We we'll just find something a little less hikey to do but it's Scotland like there's millions of stuff um, currently peeing down but I really want to get my paddleboard out today so I might do that honestly it's gone proper mental out there look at it I had to shut the door because it was coming at me <laughs> Jesus so I think paddleboarding might be off the cards unless that calms down but you can't trust it because it just changes within like two seconds and Wales does that, but not to this extreme. I'm just gonna have another coffee for now and work out a new plan. I'll get back to you. When I said I was gonna do something a little less hikey today, this wasn't what I had in mind. I'm not very clued up on animal poo. But, is that deer poo? If I met a herd of deer up here, I'd be landed. Are they herds? Packs? Groups? Teams? A team of deer? That sounds wicked. I want to meet a team of deer. Go team! Oh my god, not even joking, I just saw a deer over there. It just like leaped through the trees. Do you know what I love most about exploring with no paths and no defined route? It means you really look at stuff and you really take it in. Let's leave! I hope that wasn't something that the deer coughed up. I just totally confused myself. So I saw, <laughs> I saw this footprint. Can you see it? I don't know, but... I saw that footprint and I was like, no way has someone else come up the same way as me. Like, there's no chance. Like, I'm literally, you just wouldn't come this way. Well, I mean, I would obviously, but. And then I realized it's my bloody footprint from when I just did that bit of B-roll where I just walked past here and came back to get the camera. Oh God, there's no hope, is there? Cheese. 
navigating my way down slippy rock shit with slippy green shit on it that's where my foot just slipped down the slippy shit so the island is there that means the van is like over there it's okay it's an adventure blah 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 <coughs> You don't know what I've been through, man! It was hard up there! I always feel like shouting that when I emerge like from trees and bushes after like a pretty long hike. It's been a fun day. Look at me though, I look like flipping stig of the dump. And my hat is like a plant pot. And when I do that, it comes down and then I can't fucking see where I'm going. I dread to think what the hair's like under here, mind. I knew it was gonna be bad. I think it might be easier to cut it off, to be honest. Um, so yeah, tomorrow. I don't know. I hate decisions. Da. sensible people who don't want their paddle boards to get stolen so well done those people let's get this adventure going it's gonna be class Just sheltering behind a rock for a minute because the wind just went crazy and blew my board across like the edge of the lock. <laughs> I had to run after it and grab it and it's kind of scratched my panel a bit which I'm a bit dampened about but that'll teach me for leaving it unattended not pushed in far enough but yeah the wind just went crazy. Right I'm just gonna go for it because I've done worse in the Bristol Channel and I really want a coffee. If there's anyone else out there that hates eating noises like I do, this is for you. Oh my god, that would annoy me so much. I have to stop. All the tourist buses are here now, rocking up, taking pictures and buggering off. I'm glad I was here early. This castle dates back to the 19th century, in which Princess Gadoodaloodle got rights to own the castle. We're not going to go and visit the castle because we're just going to stand here and look at it and take some photos. And then we will leave and repeat this at another site this afternoon. Okay, okay, everybody back in, off we go. Next castle. I kind of get the impression I'm probably not meant to drive up here actually. So I might just go back and park at the bottom. So this afternoon I wanted to go for a hike. It's going to rain, which means obviously it'll probably snow at the top, which is cool, but it's probably going to be that super windy blizzard snow. Alright, bud. I'm from Wales. Oh. Just uh, speak a different dialect around here. Done with these lot. Hi, pal! Oh, I really can't do a Scottish accent. They're not having any of it. 
warum? It's the only word I can say. It's a wee warum. Wee warum. Wee, wee warum. Aye. Wee warum. Aye. See, they're more responsive than the last one. Aye. Wee warum. Aye. Aye, warum. I've muted the audio on these clips because the wind was absolutely insane, but I'm going to unmute it for a second so you can see what it was like at the top and why I did not stay up there very long. Brace yourselves. It was flipping nuts. I ran down, dreaming of tea. Had a little go at sledging on my bag, obviously didn't work. And then I think the wind had got to me and I went a little bit crazy. belting it down outside tonight but it's my last night in the camper which is really sad but I'm having a cup of tea and I'm reading my proper adventure journal I've still got at most half a day tomorrow so I'm obviously gonna squeeze some more stuff in I'm gonna go for a swim hopefully I don't know what the lock is like that I'm next to now because as usual I've driven here in the dark um, hopefully it's a nice lock with not like 75 houses next to it just down the road or opposite if it's okay I'm gonna go for a swim That was insane, but really good. <laughs> I'm standing on the shore of the lock, but I feel really warm now. I could just stand here. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go and get in the van because, you know, hypothermia could kick in at any moment. But I really recommend like wild showering. <laughs> I definitely didn't have time to do anything else, but I wanted to do something else. So I did something else. So Ben Ann has got a nice footpra footpath. Yeah, so it's just a nice little finisher before I go home. Literally speed marching now because although Alba campers are really flexible, I've kind of told them a time and now I'm gonna be late just because.